Hey pen people, today I want to talk about a fountain pen ink, and that ink is Pilot Irushizuku Konpeki. And no, I don't have a full bottle of this, I just have this sample that a friend gave me a long time ago, and it's almost gone. But one thing that I want to do is after we talk about the pros and cons and all the characteristics of this ink, after we talk about a quote like we usually do, I'm going to talk about whether or not I would actually go and buy a full bottle of this ink, whether or not I feel like it's worth it. Let's flip the camera around and we'll get started. Okay, so like I said, this is Pilot Irushizuku Konpeki. It's a really pretty blue fountain pen ink. Got the vial right here in my little ink sofa mini is what I'm calling this. It's just a little base to keep your ink samples steady as you're filling them so they don't accidentally tip and spill. Um, and this one actually, because of the angled ends, um, when your ink sample gets low like this one, like it's way down here, you can flip it like this and it makes it easier to immerse your nib when your sample is low. So anyway, I have one of these on Etsy right now, um, and if there's interest, then maybe I will make more. So um, let me know if I need to do that. Okay, so let's talk about this ink. First, I used my Twisby Eco Blue with a medium nib. This is the transparent blue, and I feel like it's a really good match for this ink. The blue of the Eco might be just slightly lighter than the blue of this ink, but I don't know. I, it just feels like a really good match to me. So, and it looks really cool in there. I don't know if that's picking up, probably a little bit. All right, so <clears throat> this is, of course, Rhodia.grid paper. That's what I use for these. So let's talk about some characteristics of this ink. So, how wet is it? Well, it's fairly wet, but it doesn't feel overly wet. It's, it's fairly controlled. It's not going to gush all over the place like some super wet inks. It feels very controlled. It feels like an ink that you can use in a lot of different pens, a lot of different nib sizes, and you can get away with it. So wet but controlled. So dry time. The dry time's kind of long. I feel like that's really the only real con of this ink, and it might not really be that big of a deal. It's not really that big of a deal to me. I don't really pay attention to dry time that much. I don't really have a problem with dry time with most of my inks. But if you're left-handed or otherwise prone to smudging ink as you write or draw, then this that might be an issue for you. I don't know, but it's not for me. But you can see here, um, sorry for the mess here, I am kind of coming up with my system as I go. So the more ink reviews I do, the more clean, hopefully, this stuff will look. But you can see here, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, even at 30 seconds, there's a little bit of smear. So if you need to like write a quick note and then close your book, you might wanna have some blot paper or something on hand. For the color, it is so blue. Like this is a vibrant, saturated, very eye-catching blue. And it's a very true blue. It's not like bluish green, bluish purple, or any, it's just, it's blue. <laughs> and so it's, if you're into blues, it's great. It's excellent. It's just very vibrant, nice to look at, and all that stuff. Water resistance. So this ink is not actually marketed as a water resistant ink. I've tried three Pilot Urushizuku inks. So Konpeki, Yamabudo, and Yuyaki, I think. And they all seem to behave pretty much the same. So I kind of feel like across the Urushizuku ink lineup, you're going to see fairly standard behavior. Um, so if you try one, you kind of know what to expect from another. I could be totally wrong, but from my experience, that's what it seems like. Because all of them have had just about this much water resistance. And um, again, it's not marketed to be water resistant, but there is some there. So here, I just put a drop of water on there and let it sit for like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so before I wiped it off. And you can see that the lines are still kind of visible right there. So if your writing gets wet, it's not gonna look great, but this ink will probably show through enough still that you'll be able to recover what you wrote. So I don't think you're at risk of losing any of your journal entries or whatever it is that you're doing. So it's nice to see that there is some ink that is fairly permanent on the page. This is a smear test where I just kind of got my finger wet and rubbed it around. And you can see that it, it did smear quite a bit, but um, again, it's it's quite visible still. That's something I like about Pilot Urushizuku inks that I've tried, including Konpeki. So Sheen, pretty much none whatsoever. Shading, also kind of 
nothing, but you might get a little bit of darker and lighter blue as you're writing, but not so much that I would really consider it to be a shading ink. Now, one thing that's really cool about these inks is actually the bottle. I don't have one, but I would love to have a Pilot Urushizuku bottle of some kind, whether it's this ink or another ink, and I'll probably get one eventually because these are really pretty bottles and they're also very functional. They've got this little point down at the bottom where the ink is in the bottle so that when you run out of ink or when you start to run out of ink, you can slide your nib straight down into that little hole there and it just makes it easier to get the last of your ink out of this bottle. So that's really cool. And they're just very nice and pretty looking too. Okay, so let's talk about this little quote I did as kind of an additional writing sample. And then we'll talk about this question. Would I buy a full bottle of this ink? So here's my quote, it's from Toni Morrison. I actually pulled it from this book, which I really like. It's by John Green and it's called The Anthropocene Reviewed. It's um, a very clever book uh, where basically the author, John Green, just looks at a bunch of random parts of being a human in the 21st century and rates them on a five-star scale, kind of like the reviews you see of anything, including pens on Amazon or Goulet or anywhere. So it's a fun book. Anyway, so he uses this quote in one of his essays. I really like it. And again, it's from Toni Morrison. So it says, at some point in life, the world's beauty becomes enough. You don't need to photograph, paint, or even remember it. It is enough. And I really like that because I'm someone who has struggled with feeling like my memory is not adequate, like it's less than average. I think my memory is actually okay. I can remember a lot of numbers and different things pretty well, but sometimes, you know, I experience something really cool and then it's just gone from my memory, it seems like. Things just evaporate so easily. And it's a little unnerving to have your memories slip away from you, but it's also kind of sad, you know, you, you like these fun memories that you have and you want to hold on to them. And so it's been hard for me to kind of come to grips with the fact that I can't remember everything I want to. And I like what Toni Morrison says here, just she, she kind of gives you permission to forget. And when you give yourself permission to forget, I think you also give yourself permission to enjoy your life experiences without feeling the pressure to document them in some form. You know, I'm a writer. I like to document things and I try to. I keep journals, I write poems and essays and all kinds of stuff, but I can't record everything. And I just like how this gives me permission to not record everything. Okay, now for the big question, would I buy a full bottle of this ink? The answer for now is no. And the reason is not anything, it's not anything against this ink. It's simply just that I don't find straight blue inks to be the most interesting for me. I think it's because I have migrated to fountain pens from the ballpoint world where everything is pretty much black or blue for the most part. And so even though this is a lovely blue, far superior to your typical ballpoint, I think I enjoy more unique colors a little bit more. Colors that don't fall into such a neat category as just blue, <laughs> you know? Um, blue greens, blue grays, blue blacks, you know, all that kind of stuff. I just, I find that a little more interesting than just a straight, a straight blue, even though it is a beautiful blue, it's a vibrant blue. So if I change my mind on that, I would like to get a bottle of this ink. But if I were to get a Pilot Irushizuku ink, it would probably be Yamabudo or something that's just a little more unique as far as the color goes. But if you're a fan of blue, this is an excellent ink. You will love it. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you later. Bye.